So you are the inspiring lady for the young generation. When uh, we have listened your uh, speech, it's very motivated. So tell me how we are going to get the empowerment in the women. We have to go in for a mindset change. You know, the mindset change has to happen among women as well as among men. We have to think about the messages we give to young girls in their schools, in their colleges, in their homes, the kind of messages that media is giving, the kind of messages that films are giving. The whole ecosystem of messaging is something we have to think about very, very clearly. We have to introspect about what kind of messages young girls are getting. And we need to go in for a mindset change at all levels of society. I think it's very important to look at how we bring up our boys. How are boys being brought up these days? Are they being brought up to be dabang and you know 56 in chest and you know all that and you know I, that's not the ideal of a democratic progressive male. So you know now the thinking in India is instead of alpha male we need the beta male. You know what I'm saying? The beta male who is much more in tune with his uh, so uh, with his uh, modern side, with his democratic side, which is with his progressive side. Because men and women have to fight together if we are going to achieve the empowerment of women. See, the empowerment of women is empowerment of men. Exactly. Empowerment of women is empowerment of the family. Empowerment of women is empowerment of the citizen. Because the household is where you learn citizenship. The household is where you learn the values of a democracy. And an educated mother can teach her children that, right in the household level. So imagine at the household level, if you understand what it is to be a citizen, what it is to be a democrat, what it is to have an open mind, free thinking, open mind. So